Meghan and Harry very united. This miscarriage brought them even closer. This Wednesday, November the 25th, Meghan Markle publicly revealed that she had a miscarriage after Archie's birth. A very courageous gesture encouraged by Prince Harry, who remained by her side throughout this ordeal to support her. Meghan Markle revealed in the columns of the New York Times to have had a miscarriage last July, a very touching text that she decided to write. While listening to the advice of Prince Harry, her husband encouraged her to reveal her experience to help other families affected by such a tragedy. Royalty expert Katie Nichols said in the Royal Beat on True Royalty TV that Prince Harry was very involved in the writing of this letter. Harry said to her, I think you should write about this because if we can help other family get through this situation, then that's a good reason to do it. She reports he already had a very important role after the drama. I was told it brought them even closer. Going through something so terrible can make or break a relationship, she said. I knew I was losing my second. It is this Wednesday, November the 25th, in the text entitled The Losses We Share, The Losses That We Share in French that Meghan Markle base in Los Angeles unveils the terrible news, a terrible episode that remains marked in the mind of the young woman of 39 years. After changing the diaper of my son, I felt a strong cramp. I dropped to the floor with him in my arm, humming a lullaby to keep us both calm, the cheerful melody contrasting sharply with my feeling that something was wrong. I knew gripping my firstborn that I was losing my second, she wrote. She was hospitalized a few hours later. The verdict is thus fallen. The royal family was present to try to console her. The Crown extended the indiscretion that will make William and Harry jump. The series The Crown was to end after the death of Lady Diana in 1997. According to the revelations of the Daily Mail, it could finally extend to the last years of the royal family. Viewers love it. The British royal family much less since the broadcast of the Crown series on the online streaming platform Netflix. The Crown is seeing red. The program doesn't spare any member in season 4 posted online since November the 15th. It is Prince Charles and Camilla Parker Bowles who take it for their rank in the next one. Princess William and Harry could meet the same fate as our colleagues from the Daily Mail specify. This Friday, November the 27th, the directors would like to evoke the characters of the second and sixth heirs to the throne. The last episode, the two men still appear as children in her heir pod podcast. Crown specialist Ermit Scobie reported on possible Netflix plans. The American giant will ultimately like to extend the royal series. I've heard rumors that Netflix is talking about the possibility of extending the show, she explained, for clarifying it could be extended to show the Duke of Cambridge and the former Duke of Sussex as adults on January 31st. However, the screenwriter of the American British show Peter Morgan announced that he didn't want to renew it after its fifth season. Now that we have started working on the stories for season five, it has become clear that this is the perfect time and place for this to end. He announced in a statement that the death of Lady Diana in 1997 should end the series. I'll make sure to stop this. Seeing his escapades spread out in a popular saga could piss off Prince Harry two years ago. Journalist Angela Levine met him as part of her book Harry Conversations with the Prince published in May 2018. At the time, the series The Crown had only aired two seasons, but the grandson of the Queen of England was already showing suspicion. When I went to the interview, him at the palace. The first thing he asked me, shaking my hand, was, Are you watching The Crown? I remembered being very embarrassed. I straightened up and he said, I'm gonna make sure I stop this before the do. She told the airwaves of talk radio at the beginning of November. <laughs>